good morning. It is a sparkly day. Well, my mask is sparkly. The weather, not so much. It is raining today. So I'm ready for the yard sale. I'm about to go put up the sign. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. If you're just tuning in and you've never seen me before, I wear a mask because I'm saving to fix my teeth. And I sell on, re on rebay. I, I resell on eBay. <laughs> I haven't made my tea yet. I'm not even awake to earn extra money to save up for dental implants and I need a lot of them. So anyway, on a happy note, I've got everything all set up. I'm about to open the garage doors and let the people in um, after I put the sign up on the end of the street, of course. And I will try to um, videotape some footage while res respecting people's privacy. So let's see how today goes and stay tuned. Stay till the end for that stained glass project I talked about on my last video. Okay, so the sign is up. Um, my signs are horrible. It's amazing I can make like a beautiful stained glass panel, but for me to write yard sale with an arrow, it looks like a kindergartner did it. But um, I'm tired. I wish they would make like evening yard sales a thing. I am not a morning person. Um, I'm a total night owl. So let's see how today goes. I'm hanging out with the Ropers. Well, Three's company, but the Ropers having a big argument. A thunderstorm is my favorite thing. Do you like them? No. Yeah. Thunderstorm, yeah, but no lightning. No. Yeah. Huh? Someone said Channel 7 was covering it. Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, usually Tom Brady would um, come down. That's right, that's right. Um, we don't know where he is, do we? We don't know. <laughs> he's someplace enjoying all his zillion dollars. I know. So just a quick um, video here of ways to um, use your time wisely. So while I'm sitting here in between yard sale customers, I'm actually listing on eBay. So this is my bag of stuff I'm going to list. This is stuff I've listed. Um, so yeah, make use of your time. Okay, so today was kind of a bust. The yard sale did not go as planned. I probably had under 10 people stop. So I don't know if it was the weather or or what's going on but i'm gonna find something else to do today and i have to find a place for all this stuff guys i don't want to put it back on ebay <laughs> i'm gonna donate a lot of it to thrift stores so yeah hey you win some you lose some right hey guys so i am on my way to the beach i'm stopping at the convenience store just for a quick um maybe like a gatorade or something but yeah the yard sale was a dud but i have news um i'm gonna do another yard sale tomorrow i decided it's already set up um, I'll make a better sign. My sign was awful. Um, so I, I adjusted the treasure map app to include Sunday. So we're going to do this again. So this is going to be a part three video. Oh my gosh, you guys, are you excited? If you are, go subscribe. If you're not excited, go subscribe. Because I'm going to the beach and you're going to want to see the Cape Cod Beach on a really windy day. So stay tuned. Okay, so I didn't bring my hat, but thankfully my little jacket here has a hood. It is, it is windy. Can you guys hear me? me off but I just saw this in the seaweed are you serious this is 
so messed up. I know accidents happen, but if it's right here in front of you, oh my God, remove it from the beach, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna go through this string, make sure it's all, wow, this is a mess. All right, I got my work cut out for me. So I'm literally gonna drag this whole thing across the beach to my car. And I know we're not supposed to take seafood or shells off the beach, but this fishing wire and the hook, it's all strung through this whole, oh my God, this whole mess of seaweed. So let me tell you, I feel so bad for animals. This, this wire is like, really hurting my hands just like trying to drag it this stuff is sharp i didn't know it was so sharp so please guys think of the wildlife this is this must be the worst death for them because this stuff is yeah i want to like dispose of it but not take the seaweed into my car thank you for the help the kind strangers helping me with this yeah like i said i i would i tried to just get it all out but it was just strung in there so good so maybe i'll have to put wire cutters in my arsenal of uh, things to put in the car oh, there you go <laughs> this actually looks like wire it's not it's called braided line okay i have not fished since i was a kid so i yeah, don't i don't it's sort of a fabric okay awesome we did our good deed, right? There you we go. did our good deed. Well, you did. You, you made it. Well, you got the wire cutters, right? I do. <laughs> so I'm home now. I tried to take footage after that gentleman helped me with the um, fishing lure and the fishing wire and the seaweed. But everything I said, the wind took my voice, so you can't even hear me. But I basically said that um, it was just an amazing coincidence that he happened to be there. Um, with wire cutters. You'd think as a stained glass artist I'd have wire cutters on me, but I don't usually travel with them. So this is the project. We're going to do this at the end of my video and we're nearing the end. So I'm going to look for a pattern to make for this um, planter that I got at the thrift shop yesterday. So I chose a tulip and I'm going to cut this out. <laughs> Hey guys, so last video that I did stained glass in, I used, if you remember, the lead came, the metal method. Well, I'm going to use the foil method for this planter piece. So I cut out the tulip and I'm just going to show you. I had said this is, wait, like a tape. So you just basically peel it and not sure how much you can see, but I'm just going to wrap the foil around the glass. For me, this is a lot slower than lead because you have to make sure that there's enough tape on each side of your glass to smooth down. And I'll show you in a minute what I'm talking about. Hope you can see, I'm trying to learn how to get in the middle. Okay, so that is wrapped. And then, like I said, you need enough tape on each side so I can pinch it. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna pinch it all down okay do, do, do. are we having fun yet then i'm going to take i use the um i have two fids i have this one and then the red one i'm going to use this red one today and then i'm gonna, I'm gonna smooth the outer edge first just smooth that down and then i'm gonna pop it down here and then i'm just going to try to bring this closer i'm just going to take my fid and um, flatten this burnish, we call it, in the stained glass world, very fancy. And it's just going to, let me show you the difference, hold on. I'm gonna go over that one twice, make sure I did a good job. So see how that's nice and flat and smooth? And the other one is more crinkled because I had just flipped it and pressed it. So now I'm gonna flatten that. I call it flatten even though two word is burnish but um so once i'm i'm not going to do the whole thing slowly because my phone is actually keeps running out of space today i need a new flash drive um so yeah these vlog these vlogs i'm doing i gotta upgrade my stuff man 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and foil this and then I'm going to come back to the video. So hang tight. Okay, so I'm at the um, step where I'm soldering this together. So we get in there. Just gonna do my bead of solder right around, all around the tulip. So I chose a red tulip. I wanted to contrast with the planter. So I'm excited to see how this turns out. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, so I skipped a few steps. Like I said, I need a, a new flash drive, but I cut out and foiled and soldered the flower and the base. And I'm gonna put this together and show you the next step in this process. Hey guys, so I'm going to do a little magic trick. I'm going to make this silver turn black. I'm just going to brush this patina on. See if you can see that turning black. Kind of like that Rolling Stone song, Painted Black. I'm not going to sing. Nobody wants to hear that. Okay, and then I'm going to show you. We're almost there show you the next step when I'm done with um when I let this all dry okay so I have the planter the rocks and the tulip with its base all right so let's see how this looks guys let's sorry it's gonna be loud all right, so I'm gonna just try to get this in I put too many in hold on it's a process all right so we're gonna put that there and the rocks are going to help keep it stable so it doesn't fall over. Okay, I'm making a big fat mess. Big fat mess, but that's okay. That's okay. These things are falling all over the place. I want this to be just right. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to go outside and take a picture of it. But um, so that is my thrift shop planter. And I used my stained glass art to make. Yeah, let's go outside with this baby. Okay, so I'm outside and I took the I took away the white rocks because they were just so, I don't know, distracting. And they took away from the tulip. So I found some brown rocks. And I think I like that better because it, it blends in with the planter. The white ones were just too much. They didn't, they didn't, they just didn't make sense. So anyway, there it is. Um, I think I can do better, but it's a good idea to take some planters from thrift shops and, you know, put some stained glass in them. I mean, you never have to water that tulip. So there it is. Let me know what you think. Um, comment below and please subscribe. I'm going to end this video because I have not had my dinner yet and I'm really hungry. It's been a long couple of days. So stay tuned for part three tomorrow. And as always, I say peace out and subscribe. Bye everyone.